Oops, there's actually six things you must decide before you buy a vintage speaker. Watch the whole thing to see the one I forgot. Hey YouTubers, it's Scott Speakerman here at Black Bear Audiophile. And these are the five things you need to decide before you buy a used or vintage speaker. Let's face it, if you want a new speaker, it's easy. You simply go down to the local store, pick out what you want, pay for it, bring it home, and set it up. That's easy. But if you want a specific kind of vintage speaker, there may not be one close by. You might have to travel quite a ways. So the number one thing you need to do is decide how far are you willing to travel to get that perfect speaker. Number two is you need to decide what repairs you're willing to do to that speaker to get it perfect the way you want it. And number three, you need to decide what your skill level is. If the foam has deteriorated around the speaker, are you going to be able to repair that in a way that you're satisfied? Number four, you need to decide what condition you want the speaker in. Very few vintage speakers that are 20 or 30 years old are perfect. There's usually small blemishes or even some larger ones. Decide what you're willing to put up with in general terms before you leave. And the last and most important factor is how much can you spend? And you need to include the cost of the repairs, and travel if necessary. The sixth decision you must make, the one I forgot, was sometimes the speaker is simply not available anywhere. And so you have to wait. So you have to decide how long are you willing to wait in order to get the perfect speaker for you. Hey, this is Scott Speakerman reminding you to click like, click subscribe, and click the bell if you want to receive notifications when new videos come out. And also, in the comments below, is there anything I forgot when trying to buy a used or vintage speaker? Thank you.